Hey everyone, this is Rudy Rodriguez Show Mott here with Come On Now, the podcast. I am doing a little different uh, thing today this time with a video voiceover, video faceover, reaction, and so forth, because we've been doing a lot of uh, talking about Caitlin Clark in the WNBA. And there's been a lot of things that have been said and a lot of criticisms that she's received in, in, in large part. Uh, from former WNBA and Hall of Famer Cheryl Swoops. I've done a few videos on that, clips, full videos, et cetera, um, that we've been doing pretty much on Swoops, and Swoops always seems to have something to say about Clark um, since, gosh, the college basketball season. Now, Cheryl Swoops is one of the greatest women's basketball players of all time. She's in the Hall of Fame. She won three Olympic gold medals. She won four WNBA championships. She's an all-time great. All that said, we make we have conversations about things like um, how the games evolved, right? And we have these conversations in reference typically to the, to the NBA as the game has evolved a great deal with all the shooting that goes on. Now, I don't really enjoy watching 53-point shots per game, but that's where the game has gone, right? So, However, so you have people today that will talk about how players back in the 90s could not compete today because they couldn't shoot the same way, right? And how big men back then could not compete with big men today. Whereas then there's people that say, well, the big men today couldn't compete with the big men back then, right? Now, the gap between the 90s basketball from the NBA and today is not that large. Are there some more skilled players in the NBA today than there were in the 1990s? Absolutely. I will never say there aren't. I I can't say that there aren't. Was the game a lot more physical in the 90s than it is today? Absolutely. Do I think the big men of the 90s would absolutely annihilate the big men of today's generation? Yes. Do I think rules changes have changed the way the game is played and the way things players get away with things like the, the gather dribble, which is didn't exist up until a few years ago, Um, 2019 officially. But I want to take a look at Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl Swoops was the National Player of the Year in 1993. She won the national championship. She set a record for points scored in the national championship game at 47. Now, I want you to watch this game, every point she scores. It's a a four-and-a-half-minute video of her scoring. And when you look at the way she scores – and compare it to how defenders are defending Caitlin Clark that right now in the WNBA and even how she was defended in college, you're going to see a massive difference. The, a difference that you would even see from when Iowa played South Carolina in the national championship game where Clark is being literally bodied the entire game, as she should with the skill that she possesses and her ability to shoot the ball. Cheryl Soups, keep in mind, National Player of the Year, 1993. Let's take a look at this. So off the bat, you can see the dribbling differences. Steal by Cheryl Soups. The hands over the ball, not cupping it. Layup, easy bucket. The women don't even really look all athletic. If you you watch how they're defending, they're all very stiff. It's all stiff. She's out there for a three, wide open, no contest, bucket. They're not even contesting it. She's not being double teamed. Every def- if you look at the defense, the defense is stiff, just straight up and down. They're barely bending their knees. Drive to the rim, layup. No one picked up the national player of the year, right? She's out there in the, in the wing, kicks to the wing, pulls up, open look, boom, bucket. That was slightly contested, but not really because the, the defender wasn't near her. She look at her on the right-hand side. She's in the bottom side of the screen. Three-point shot, bucket. Not contested again. The defender never got off the ground. So let's look again. Here we go. She's steal. Good read. Boom. Layup. Remember, this is the national player of the year. Yeah, she made some plays right there. She hit shots. But let's be honest. She's out there on the, right, the bottom hand of the screen. Catches the ball. No one guards her. She's t- she actually made that shot more contested than it actually was initially if she had just shot the ball once soon as she caught it. 
But even so, the girl never got off the ground even to really contest a shot. She's got screens on both sides. The, the defender backs off of her, and she's wide open. Backs off of her. Again, why aren't you trapping the national player of the year, the best player in the country? This is the best player in the country, barely being guarded. There she is on the, going towards the free throw line, running across. They're stiff as hell. Look at that top of the key defender. Dr- dribble drive to the baseline, easy bucket. They don't contest it. But look at the stiffness of this defense. Drives right to the corner, elbow, boom, bucket. Uncontested. This is the defense being played on Cheryl Swoops in the national championship game. This one's the funny one to me because she drives to the middle, clears out with her right hand, pulls up, bucket from the free throw line. I, I guess she must be a bully too because she says that Caitlin Clark's a bully because she claims that Caitlin Clark pushes off. Here we go, layup. But again, Caitlin Clark pushes off, off every time she shoots the ball. Well, I guess... Swoops was doing that in 1993, so she learned from her. This is the toughest shot she took all game. That was the most contested shot that she took all game. It was a very tough shot, bucket. And now we're at the free throw line. And this is pretty much what it will be the rest of the way. A lot of free throws, you know, 30 points already is the second half. They ended up winning this game, I think, by two points. She had about half, like half their points. And... As you see, the national player of the year, she's 13 for 18. I believe she finished 16 of 24 in this game for 47. Of those 16 made baskets, one shot was contested. One. Look at the stiffness of the defense. The defense is brutally stiff. They are up and down. There's no The knees are barely bent. The WNBA, the women's game, has evolved incredibly since 1993. It is a far better game than it was in 1993. Does that mean that it's really all that great to me? No, but in comparison, it's night and day what it was back then. Here we go. Screen, wide open shot. The the help defense backs off. Like, what are you doing? This is the help defense backing off of the best player in the nation in 1993. Like, this is the type of crap that is utterly utterly maddening because you're watching this and you're sitting here saying, do they defend? They don't defend. They're not defending. Look at the stiffness. Look at the girl up top. Stiff, stiff, barely move. Goes for a reach, layup, and one. That's the 46th and four, the 45th, 46th, and now she hits a free throw for point number 47. Record that has not been broken. Probably will never be broken because no one will ever be this open the entire game when they're that damn good and making every shot they take. So this is what you have when you're talking about basketball from the 90s in women in the women's game to basketball today it's a different game completely different game not remotely close to differences in the men's game because the men's game are still fairly close they've changed rules to speed up the game but the women's game the skill level has ratcheted way up defense has ratcheted way up And so when Caitlin Clark's being defended by three people or two people, yeah, she's got to be physical, and she has to get them off from somehow. How how, how else do you otherwise remove them from you if you don't use your arms to get free? That is the reality of the game. And I think it's really sad that Swoops continues this narrative and this dialogue where she consistently lies about Caitlin Clark and makes up stories. Like, oh, she pushes off on every shot. That's actually not true, and it's proven. It's proven. You could watch last night's game that they had that she played against Atlanta. She had 16 points, seven assists. She didn't push off. I think she had she had one shot where I saw she pushed off and she missed. She missed the shot. So this narrative, you were pushing off in 93. Steph Curry pushes off today. James Harden pushes off today. Michael Jordan had the most famous push-off in NBA history in 1998 to win an NBA championship. And you're going to sit here and call Caitlin Clark a bully because she pushes off on every shot. While saying that Angel Reese doesn't play a a form of bully ball. We all know she plays a form of bully ball. That's like saying Shaq didn't play a form of bully ball. They use their size to their advantage. It's the style in which they play. So how can you sit here and say they don't play bully ball? It's okay to play bully ball. Charles Barkley played bully ball. 
uses his body to get where he wants to go. Luka Doncic plays a form of bully ball because he's rarely guarded by a six foot eight player who's 245 pounds like he is. He's usually being guarded by undersized guys that are smaller than six foot four, six foot five guards who are 200 pounds while he's 230, 240. I just find the narrative sad. And watching that game, and I could probably show you clips of her entire career where she's pushed off. But I can also show you clips of like that where the defense on her, my God, if people defended Caitlin Clark the way they defended Cheryl Swoops in the national championship game, Caitlin Clark might have gone for 60 versus South Carolina if that's how they had chosen to defend Caitlin Clark because that shit was too damn easy. Let me know your thoughts. Come on now. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.